As it extends beyond just seeing the northern lights, these geomagnetic storms that hit the Earth's atmosphere, well, they have impacts that range from satellites to power grids. A stunning display dazzling viewers across the Midwest and beyond. The one from about 20 years ago or so is comparable, but when you see reports that Puerto Rico got to see the auroras and they haven't seen an aurora there in 103 years, I mean, that's something pretty unique. A solar outburst peppering our planet with charged particles from the sun. The sun has these has a solar cycle. And that's because it rotates on average every 27 days. And because of that, it wraps up the sun's magnetic field into a, a mess right around the 11 year mark. And that's where we reach solar maximum. It's a twisted up mess of magnetic field lines. The sun becomes littered with sunspots. So solar storms take place because of all those stresses in the magnetic fields and things like solar flares or solar radiation storms and these geomagnetic storms tend to happen. While we know much about how the northern lights are caused, their prediction still an imperfect science. The first one from yesterday arrived several hours early. Space weather forecasting now, where mm. we were with weather forecasting 30 or 40 years ago. And there's another round on the way tonight. Think of it like a hurricane. You're in the middle of the eye wall. Things are settling down, but we've got another CME that's fastest yet that's coming our direction uh, tomorrow. Even if the final round is a bust, there's still a prize for those who kept their solar eclipse glasses. Go look at the sun safely, put them in front of your face, look up over on the right hand side. You will see the sunspot group that is causing this set of solar storms. It is enormous. It's about 17 times the size of the Earth, and it is absolutely naked eye visible just with solar glasses. I taped that at about five o'clock in the afternoon. I went out with my solar glasses and you can just clear as day see the sunspots. Really? It's so cool. Uh, it, it, she was talking about it, anything that's long in metal, it would affect. So power grids, uh, it induces a current on those, on underground pipelines, everything like that. And people actually have to adjust the grid to this so that the grid doesn't trip. Uh, in the late 1980s, Quebec lost power because of a big ge uh, geomagnetic storm. So it's wow. serious stuff. So there's actual impacts. It's not just uh, looking to your social media feed and seeing a bunch of yeah. green and purple. <laughs> yes, it, it is. They've been along, uh, around long before Instagram, so they're not around for the likes. Fair they're enough. just around to do yeah. science. Yeah. Well, we look forward to tonight. You can learn more about the Northern Lights and see more photos by heading to our website or our news app. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.